Yeah, yeah, well, you're not alone in making those mistakes. So many people are doing that right now. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope that helped anyway. Good luck with it, cheers. So another client who's managing to turn their personal brand into what I would call personal bland. They're doing a load of stuff that is ruining their opportunity to build a personal brand online. And we don't want that for people. It's a real shame. So I'm Andrew McCaskill, your resident YouTube career coach. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed at the moment, what is wrong with you? We've got so much great stuff here on the career coaching, job search coaching, and business launcher side. So don't forget to click the red button and tell other people about this. We really wanna get as much help out to people as possible. So back to my client and to the rest of you that are managing to turn personal branding into a personal bland exercise. Here are some of the key watch outs when you start sharing content to make sure that you get the impact from your content that you're looking for. Now without far and away the biggest problem for people when they start posting on LinkedIn or sharing content via other social channels is they write in a way that's way too corporate. So they write as if it's business communication because that's what we've been trained on, right? The biggest tip I can give you is to write as you speak. To write as you speak. And my friend Amelia Sordell, who's pretty much the number one personal branding expert going right now, actually says you should dictate your posts into your phone, convert them to text, and then start to post them. So you're literally, quite literally, posting in your own voice. That's just gonna resonate so much more with the client, so much more with your target audience, and so much more with the ecosystem, because people will feel the authenticity in it. So right as you speak, that's my first tip, but there's more. What we also need to be thinking about is what we're posting on. So there's a mixture of different things that we can do, but what we don't want to do is only share information-based posts. We wanna get an emotive reaction out of people. We wanna inspire them, enrage them, engage them. This is what we're looking for when we're building a personal brand. So start trying posts which are maybe a little bit more personal, maybe a little bit more emotive, maybe make people laugh or get an important point across using humor that make them memorable. And overall, what you wanna post is things that people that are compelled to share. Because the more you post things that you could imagine somebody sharing on because they identify with it so much, the more traction you're gonna get on that post and the more your personal brand is gonna grow over time. Now, the final bit to making sure you end up with an authentic personal brand is to create some personal brand guidelines, right? Like a little bit like the corporate brand guidelines that I'm sure you've worked with in the past, but a framework for you to use when you're posting just to guide you. It's as simple as that. So you wanna think about what kind of tone am I gonna use? What kind of topics am I gonna to post on? What kind of formats am I gonna use? And get out there and experiment. And above all, be consistent. Because the other personal brand fail is that people post two or three days in a row, then don't post again for another month, and then they dabble again. Like anything, I'm sorry to say, and I know it's a boring tip, but it's the truth. You get this compound situation when you post consistently. That's where the magic comes from. So don't fall into those traps. Don't turn your personal brand into a personal brand. Make sure it reflects you, that it's interesting, it's engaging, and it's the type of stuff that people want to share. That's how you're gonna get the most bang for your buck, and frankly, how you're gonna enjoy personal branding more and not make it feel like a chore and feel like something that feels just a bit more natural. Good luck with it for all of you just about to start their own personal branding journeys. If you've got any questions, throw them into the comments, and we'll catch up with you very soon. Let's get to work.